What wild animals will I see climbing Kilimanjaro? Kilimanjaro National Park is a sprawling ecosystem. In 1921, the area was established as a forest reserve and became a national park in 1973. This protection has allowed its animals to resist habitat encroachment by humans. As climbers will certainly notice on their journey to the summit, Kilimanjaro encompasses a wide variety of ecological zones. The majority of the park is in the rainforest, and this is the zone that is most teeming with wildlife. There are recordings of 154 species of mammals on the mountain, including seven primates and hundreds of types of birds. Large mammals, such as elephants, giraffes, and buffalo, as well as smaller mammals, such as porcupines, honey badgers, and aardvarks, have all been spotted here. However, most of the time, these animals stay away from humans and hide in the thick, lush rainforest. In this video, I'll discuss some of the more common animals that you have a chance of seeing while climbing Kilimanjaro. Blue Monkey the blue monkey can be found in Kilimanjaro's rainforest, especially around Big Forest Camp. The name is misleading because these primates aren't especially blue. Their body is a gray and olive color with patches of white and black. Their eyes are reddish brown. The blue monkeys mainly stay in tall trees which provide both food and shelter. They primarily eat fruits and figs but will also eat insects, leaves, twigs, and flowers. White-necked raven. The white-necked raven is aptly named for the prominent white band on the back of its neck. Ravens are very intelligent birds, and this variation is no exception. Ravens are said to be smarter than a seven-year-old human. They are capable of abstract reasoning, complex problem-solving, and group decision-making. Ravens can even be taught human speech. White-necked ravens are omnivorous. Their diet consists of fruits, grains, insects, carrion, small mammals and reptiles, and human food. You will undoubtedly see these large birds flapping and squawking around your campsite, waiting to scavenge food. Leaving your day pack unattended may be a costly mistake, as these naughty crows are daring enough to break into it and eat the goodies. Colobus Monkey The word colobus comes from the Greek word kolobos, meaning maimed or mutilated. This unflattering meaning comes from the fact that this monkey does not have thumbs. This adaptation came due to its arboreal living. Having fingers that are more like hooks are more effective for swinging among the forest canopy. The colobus monkey has a striking contrast of color. When they are born, they are totally white, but transform into their unusual black and white appearance as they age into adulthood. What is most spectacular are their fluffy white tails, measuring two feet long. These monkeys can be seen near the Kilimanjaro trailheads and throughout the rainforest section. Like the blue monkeys, colobus monkeys live in the trees and rarely come to the ground. They eat mostly leaves, fruits, and flowers. Colobus monkeys have ruminant-like stomachs with three chambers that help them digest leaves. Bush baby. Bush babies get their name from their human, baby-like cries that can be heard in the night. These nocturnal creatures have big round eyes that give them excellent night vision, and a brownish-gray to light brown coat. They have great agility and can leap far distances from tree to tree. They eat insects such as grasshoppers and moths, which they catch on the ground or grab straight out of the air. They also eat small animals, fruit, and tree gums. The bush baby lives in tree hollows that provide shelter, and though they are fairly common, they are not easily seen because they are active at night. Four striped mouse Wherever you find humans, you can almost always find rodents. These mice are slightly larger than house mice and look a lot like a chipmunk. It has four black stripes down its back. Unlike other mice, they are more active in the mornings and late afternoons, resting during the middle of the day. Although they live together in groups, they're solitary foragers. The four-striped mouse likes to make its home at Kilimanjaro campsites and huts where food is plenty. They mostly feed on a wide range of green plants, seeds, invertebrates, and human scraps. Jackson's Chameleon Chameleons are a type of lizard found mainly in Africa. They're known as one of the few animals that can change skin color which they do in response to its emotions, changes in light, temperature, or humidity. A chameleon can move its eyes independently of each other, 
enabling them to look in two different directions at once. Their specialized vision and their ability to launch their tongues at great speed to a distance of more than twice their body length enables them to strike and capture insects with great accuracy. On Kilimanjaro, there are three horned chameleons known as Jackson's chameleon and a smaller two-horned chameleon known as Dwarf Fisher's chameleon. If you want to see these creatures for yourself, climb Kilimanjaro with us and keep your eyes peeled for these animals while you're on your own Tanzanian adventure. I'm Kevin with Ultimate Kilimanjaro. Visit our website for more information. Please like and subscribe for more videos and join our Facebook discussion group to talk about all things Kilimanjaro. I'll see you on the summit.